technically starts that fits into another show's or movie's canon, it can go either way. I mean, we can become a little bit sceptical about whether the show or the movie will be any good. I mean, look at the MCU. I mean, when Guardians of the Galaxy came along, most of us were like, well, what? Could this work? But it turned into one of the biggest hits of the summer. So with that in mind, today, BBC Three on BBC Three online, they debuted their latest Doctor Who spin-off, Class. And I'll be honest with you, when I first heard about this show, I didn't know if it would work. I mean, I had seen the two Doctor Who previous spin-offs, Torchwood and Sarah Jane Adventures, and they had been very good. They had been top tier. So just the sound from this one, plus I didn't have any original cast to tie them down and go tie them into the universe, so I was hesitant about whether this would actually be any good. But seeing the first two episodes of the show, I'll admit, it fits into the canon really well. And, I, and I'd hardly suggest that anyone try, try and see it. It's, it's a brilliant show. The basic premise of it is that after years of, kind of time travel and space travel, the, the walls of reality amongst Coal Hill Academy have worn thin, allowing creatures, various creatures and situations, to kind of seep into Coal Hill. And now a, a band of students and a rather weird teacher have to bond together in order to combat these threats. The cast includes some great acting from Greg, o Greg Austin, F Fady L. Said, Sophie Hopkins, Vivian Opara, and Catherine Kelly. Plus, in the first episode, there is a surprise appearance at the very end by Peter Capaldi as the Doctor, which I, I think he loved. That was the perfect way to tie it into the Who universe. Just have a small appearance just from him, just at the beginning, just to get the ball rolling. But Peter Capaldi... He may have stolen the show for the last few minutes of the episode, but trust me, he does not steal the entire thing. The entire thing can stand on its own. It is a brilliant show. And, for example, in the first two episodes, they have to take on creatures called the Shadowkin, which are <coughs> hold a similar kind of basis to the Vash and Murado, except they're a little more solid. Kind of, they come out of the shadows that you create, and it is frankly terrifying once they get going. And also a dragon creature in the second episode that kind of there are two different ones and one is hiding one is caught on the skin of the football coach and to be honest apart from the football coach just being a bit you know just a bit kind of <sighs> D-I-C-K but the, the crew the way they handled this show was brilliant I I give highly, I give high recommendations to everyone who made this show, and I advise you if you haven't already, check it out. Because from what, from the look of it so far, they have got a really good show on their hands. Like showing how these teenagers develop and how they, how the students will cope with all the various alien threats they're going to seep through. It, it it just looks like a brilliant show, and I advise you if you haven't already, give it a shot. Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, there you